I hate when people, and I know hate is another one of those ugly words, right? Yeah. But yeah. I hate when people say can't because it's, it's, it's limiting. It's telling people that this is as far as I can go. I don't have the ability. No matter, no matter how much time or effort I put into it, I will never have that ability. That's what can't means. And it's just not true. Unless, unless you're a man and you want to get pregnant, you cannot do that. That's, that is not going to happen. I don't, care what, I don't care what anybody says. That's not a thing. But other than that, I mean, it's just it's just tenacity and going forward and, and getting after it. Yeah. You know something I, I'm I'm I, I am thankful. I'm thankful that he did it because he made it better. And I think this is this is that concept in life, right? And I tell people you, you need to stop and self reflect. So, you know, self reflecting back on that moment, you know, I had the option and I always look at myself as uh, I don't I think my ego's in check. I, I really do. I, I'm proud of that. I know where I came from. And I think that the ability to self-reflect, take it back out of the garbage, use his feedback to make it better. Yeah. I'm proud. I'm proud that I did that. Right. You should so be. I think that I think I, or I could have left the email and said, you know, screw you. What do you know? I had a conversation with a guy the other day. We were talking about sales and everything. And he asked me if I thought I had an ego. And I had to take a pause and think about it. And I said, I think I, I think I'm confident, but I don't think I know everything. I know I don't know everything. And I want to constantly learn and get better. Um, I'm open to feedback. When people watch this, they can tell me I suck. And I've said that before. You can give me whatever feedback you want. The only thing is don't say stop because I'm not going to because I enjoy doing it. So if nobody else likes it, I'm good with that. It gives me an opportunity to talk with you. So yeah. If it wasn't for this small platform, you and I wouldn't be having a conversation today. We wouldn't be sharing. And maybe one person watches this and they take one nugget out of one thing. It's totally worth the time. Who am I to write this book, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I talk about the, the real heroes of the world. Yeah, some of my uh, some of my soldiers in arms right now who aren't here anymore, right? Yep. Um, the, the, the true heroes and the, and the police and fire and, and the healthcare workers and, and the doctors and the, and the scientists who are, are finding cures for cancer and all that. Who am I? Right. And, and so, so I started writing my prologue and I said, I'm nowhere near um, what these people and these professionals are doing uh, to move our society. So what I did was I set an expectation and the bar was really damn low, man. I mean, low. And I said, with these 109 or 15 pages, if I can move one person yep. to do something different that impacts, positively impacts somebody else, then it's all worth it, right? Yep. Now that's a low bar. But if you think about it, why not set the bar low when it comes to say, it's like, I don't think I can do this or I can't do this. Well, how about I can do this, but I'm just going to try this much first. At least you're going to go do it. And it's interesting because Writing that, and, and my 23-year-old came in because we've been getting tons of emails and tons of feedback, and yeah. I'm talking like deep stuff, Tony. I'm talking deep stuff. Like people are sharing like parts of their lives with me. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa. Yeah. And my, my daughter, and the first one comes and says, check it off the box, Dad. You already met your goal. That's it. And, and, and from That's then it. on, they've been coming in, coming in. It, it's amazing. So- it has made me feel the the um, the concept of I'm glad I put myself out there. You I, know what? I, and I think this just popped in my brain. I feel like uh, self doubt is a little bit selfish. So if you would have doubted yourself and not put that stuff out there, you would have um, you you would have prevented any of those people from being able to have those same feelings that you did. Wow, that's a that's a great. Uh, I love that. Yeah. And I think, I think too many people stay in that space of fear that they don't have anything more to give and, and they do, you know,